Hey everyone, welcome to the Eye Care Marketing segment of the Eye Care Marketing Insights, Innovation and Impact live broadcast series with my very special guest, Trudy Charre. I'm your host, Dr. Sandy Eveleth, and whether you're live with us today or watching during the replay, we'd love to hear from you. Please drop us a comment or question below about the topic we're about to discuss. Trudy Charre is the co-founder of Marketing for ECPs, a digital marketing agency focused on building digital advertising for healthcare practices. Trudy is well known for designing, developing, and facilitating training and marketing programs to health professionals across North America. Trudy's a licensed optician with over 25 years of extensive eye care experience. She also holds a human resource management certificate from the University of Calgary. Her experience includes corporate training in retail optical, territory management for Bausch & Lohm, clinical consulting with Optos, and VP of Marketing and Training for I Recommend, one of Canada's leading optometric buying groups. All of this before starting Marketing for ECPs in 2015. Trudy is one of Vision Monday's 2019 most influential women in the optical industry. She's an active OWA member and has recently been elected to the board of directors for the Optical Women's Association. Trudy is now adding best-selling author to her many accomplishments. She published her book, The Digital Sales Rep, in 2022 and hit bestseller status in multiple categories and countries. She's an international speaker, author, industry consultant, and business innovator. And here we go. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm I'm the one controlling all the buttons, so I got to make sure I do it in the right order. Here. You're doing great. <laughs> oh, thanks. Listen, I'm thrilled to have you back on this show to discuss your Amazon best-selling book, The Digital Sales Rep. And yes, here it is. Go ahead and hold up your copy too. Come on. <laughs> this is awesome. And I do feel very special. I'm just going to quickly, just briefly... Yes, I have it autographed. I don't Yay. think. Yes, there it is. My own <laughs> autographed copy. Thank you very much for that. So listen, it's the story. You know this, but I'm going to tell our audience. It's the story of how you triple the sales of your company using digital prospecting and networking. You mentioned in the book that it took you four years to acquire 150 clients, but yet during the pandemic, it only took you a year to get 110 clients after implementing your 10 plus 10 method. And I'm also going to mention, if I didn't already, that it did hit best seller status on Amazon in its first two weeks in eight countries. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoo. And it's not <laughs> just about sales. It's about building a personal brand. I know we're going to touch on that quite a bit today, but it's building a personal brand online and using it to be the expert in your field. The book is for every sales rep and business person in today's digital world. I do love the 10 by 10 selling strategy because it's straightforward it simply works and is easy to implement on any digital platform. Trudy, thanks again for your amazing contribution to our industry, the overall sales industry, and for taking the time out of your very busy day to join us for the eye care marketing segment of Marketing Innovation and Impact. And I said the eye care marketing segment, but you really are also innovation and impact. Um, so I appreciate it. But let's start with saying your backstory is amazing. Thank you for sharing it in the book and giving us insight into why you are, I'm going to say it, such a badass. Oh, your, your experience, it. I'm telling you, you are. Your experience throughout the years as a salesperson position you as a true expert to write this highly actionable book. So I'm going to start right out of the gate with what was your inspiration for writing this book? Why now? You know, well, thanks. First of all, Dr. Sandy, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to talk about the book. Um, it just launched this year. Uh, I wrote it last year in 2021. And, you know, I was really inspired because of the success that I had implementing some of the strategies that I write about in the book. You know, not everything in the book is just from the pandemic. It's from my years of of being in business in the eye care industry. It's from my years of being in sales um, and bringing some of those tactics to the online world and, and using what I learned and was successful in sales traditionally into digitally. And, you know, one of the things that happened to us, and, and I talk about it in, in the beginning of the book, is, you know, when the pandemic hit and the first three days of lockdown, we lost a million dollars in business, almost half of our revenue. And it made us 
sit up and decide what we were going to do. And we decided we were going to fight, not flight. And we started to really look at what we could achieve by being at home and being stuck, you know, without clients and without trade shows and without being to knock on doors. And, and so I knew I had to figure out how to still keep our business going. And even as, as businesses and practices started to open up, I needed to find a way to be able to prospect digitally and sell digitally. And, you know, I started and developed and tested the 10 plus 10 cell system that I talk about in the book, and it worked. And it worked so well. And our exposure was just, you know, so huge. And it was so effective and easy because we had already built a great brand and I had personally been working on my digital brand, but now, you know, just took it to the next level. So honestly, the inspiration was the success and the actual results. And I knew I had something to share and I knew I really wanted to put it into something that I could share with people. And, you know, along came the book. Well, and a, a big part of that and, Again, I'm going to say I love the book, um, finished it recently. It's just fantastic. But a, a big part of why you're so successful in what you do is you're very quick to understand the needs of your ideal clients. Y you know, it's it may be easy to say, well, yeah, that's great for salespeople because salespeople can continue to work from home. But here, all of a sudden, we had a pandemic where your ideal avatar, who are eye doctors, all of a sudden they have to close up shop. So we're going to talk a lot about this, um, you know, very shortly, but you also figured out a way to help in this 10 plus 10 method. You figured out a way to help optometrists providing resources so that they can actually not just survive, but thrive during the time that they're actually closed down. So, you know, I really want people to realize that this is a book for salespeople, but guess what? We're all salespeople. If we own a business, everything that we do, whether we're trying to brand ourselves in our local communities, or if we're trying to work with a patient in the examining room, or the staff is trying to help them figure out what products and services they need to have, all of that continues to be sales. So this book does specifically um, tap into the needs of the eye care industry. Um, so let's go ahead. I was just going to say, there's no doubt that I did tailor this a little bit to sales reps. I mean, it's, it's called the digital sales rep, but there is tips for every business person in here. So I, you know, I've recently had just a ton of feedback from optometrists who have read it, practice owners, opticians, and everybody is getting something out of it. Um, I tried to pull in a lot of just effective tips and, and strategies and tactics I used throughout the years in business from, you know, when I was in sales, traditionally, you know, in front of clients, but also when I was running businesses and what I used and then brought to tripling the sales of my company. And a lot of it comes back to just helping your clients, not instead of selling to your clients. And so for me, it was always about what, what are their challenges right now? Because if I can help them, they're going to want to do business with me. Yeah. And let's, let's go back to that. Cause you tell a really compelling story. I mean, kind of in the early part of the book that, mm -hmm where you learned a lesson from early in your days of doing marketing, because remember, personal branding is a lot about marketing. So we've got both marketing and sales tactics and strategies in the book. Right. But you learn, thank goodness, early on when you met with a an optometrist, someone that you were <laughs> you were, you know, wanting to have a good lunch with. And, you know, can you tell us a little bit about that story? If you feel comfortable doing that, I appreciate your vulnerability and telling us a lot of the stuff in the book. Um, I I tell that story all the time because, yeah. you know, honestly, it changed my career. It changed my perspective of helping and dealing with clients. It changed the way I sold. And I have carried that that story and that, you know, that lunch and what happened at that lunch with me throughout my career. Um, I, you know, had just finished my training as a sales rep with Bosch and Lom. It was my first outside sales role. 
And I was out, you know, meeting with clients for the very first time. And I was doing what I was taught in, you know, the sales training. And that was to book, you know, lunches with my top clients and really, you know, ask them about their business and ask them how I could help them. And so I had, you know, one of my first lunches with a very large practice and one of the main practice owners. And we sat down for lunch and, you know, I started right in with, you know, doctor, tell me about your business. And he literally threw down his fork and decided to tune me in. And he said to me, I, you know, I'm going to give you some of the top tips of your career and your sales career. And he's like, don't ask me about my business. Come in here and tell me about my business. Do your homework. Find the information that you already know about my business and then come in and tell me what's happening with my business and your products. You know, I want you to tell me what's happening in the industry. What can you bring to me? And he said to me, you know, I only have lunch with one particular rep who, and I have lunch with him almost every month. And it's because he teaches me something. He knows my business. He knows the industry. He's an expert. He's a resource. Every time I have lunch with him, I learn something. And he said, don't book lunch with me again, unless you can be a resource and you can make it valuable. And that was really powerful. I mean, if, if you hadn't (laughs) had that, you know, that situation happen, you may not have realized that I need to become a resource. And that is one of the main things that absolutely catapulted your success. And so tell us about that resource that you shared with everyone or resources, I should say, when the pandemic hit. I mean, it was within, I think, a week of the pandemic hitting and you got right to work with creating a resource to help optometrists, you know, figure out what they needed to do. So go ahead and share a little bit about that too. Yeah. Well, you know, obviously after that meeting with the optometrist years ago, I really took it to heart. I I think you either take that kind of feedback and you crawl into a corner and don't do anything or you, you know, take it and, and really utilize that type of of feedback. And I did, and I decided, you know, he's right. I'm going to be a resource. I'm not going to be um, the typical just come in and pitch my products rep. I wanted to be helpful. And so, I, you know, my whole background was eye care. I, you know, I came from retail optical. So I knew the industry and I knew some of the challenges were the same, whether I was dealing with an independent practice or I was dealing with a chain. A lot of the, the challenges were the same and there's some of the same challenges that are happening today. So at that time it was staffing. It was, you know, A lot of people didn't know how to go about finding staff or, you know, writing job ads, where to post them. And so I saw opportunities right away and I created resources then. And so when the pandemic hit, you know, literally within that first day of lockdown and I saw every practice closing, you know, we just, number one, shifted gears and we're like, how can we help? How can we be a resource? How can we be helpful? And we knew if we are good to people in in a time of need, then the business is going to come back to us. Hopefully (laughs) we didn't know the pandemic was going to last this long, but, you know, so within a day, I was already like, what can we do to help these practices as they're closing? And, and I started to talk to some of our practices virtually and on the phone and was asking them, you know, what are your challenges closing down? And they're like, well, so much, like, how do we communicate to patients we're closed? How do we communicate how to pick up your glasses? How do we communicate um, emergency eye care? And so I'm like, I'm going to write an ebook, um, all these tips of what they need to do, how they have to change their schedule on their website, put up a banner, put up a pop-up. And so I created an ebook within 48 hours, we had it designed and out within 72 hours. So on day three of the pandemic, we had an ebook. Nobody had it out yet. And it was the eight ways to safeguard your your practice while you're closing. And it got downloaded thousands of times. And we had other suppliers coming to us and asking us, can we send this out? This is so valuable. And, and we can't believe you wrote it so fast. And that was just one of many things we did over those initial days. Like on day six, 
we had four of our optometrist clients on a webinar just giving advice to other practices on what they were doing to, to shut their practices and what they were you doing to utilize their time. And we had thousands of people watch the webinar. Yeah. I mean, and again, that's that whole thing where you're just right there. As soon as you see a problem, you get to it. And, and you know, your commitment to providing these free resources is, is absolutely incredible. Let me throw up a couple of, um, comments that we're getting down below. And I think I, I think I might've goofed and, and Bill and uh, Ellie, I think are helping me or Eli are helping me with um, something I did. It might've been in the intro that I said something about video ideas. So I apologize for that, but hello from Nashville. We appreciate that. And then Bill has a great comment about oh, what you're hi, saying. <laughs> He's amazed how few people take 10 minutes before a meeting to find out about the client. It's absolutely incredible. Today, it's so easy. Thank you both for this valuable webinar. We can all be better sellers by effectively connecting and solving problems. And I guess I think we're going to have to do, uh, Trudy, is at some point we're going to have to come up with some video marketing ideas. So we'll do that for another session. Okay. <laughs> I think I might have had that either either in the description or I had it in the in, entering video. But um, anyway, so let's keep going. Let's go ahead and talk about, we'll dive right into this 10 by 10 sales method because this is where you spend the bulk of the book. And again, I'm going to tell everybody, I'm going to throw some pearls at the end, but what I really love about this book is you dive right into it. You give a little bit of the background, why you're doing what you're doing, and then you go right into the different platforms using this 10 by 10 sales method, and then, you know, how to do it effectively and how much time it might take every day. So go ahead and, and dive into what that's all about and how it can help us both as salespeople and as eye care practitioners. Well, first off, um, you know, the book is easy read. I'll tell you it's 130 pages. It's, uh, you can finish it in two hours. I made it an entertaining read as well as, you know, an impactful read, meaning it's got no real fluff. It gets right to the point, as Dr. Sandy said. Um, I wanted to, you know, I didn't want to get too technical. Uh, you know, I talk about different platforms that I used and still use most effectively, and I just talk about the few things that I found the most useful. And I did really dive into these platforms. So I don't get into everything you can do on them. I get into what works for me. And, you know, when we talk about the 10 plus 10 sales system, how I even came up with that is, you know, again, we're stuck at home. Um, this is now month two of the lockdown. And, you know, we are still pumping out resources and helping people and doing webinars. But now, I still need to figure out how to still connect with people, how to network, how to find my target client. Even in you know month three, as practices started to open back up, um, they didn't want to see salespeople. They didn't. They, they could barely see patients because they had to sp space people out. So I needed to figure out how to still do what I do, and that's sales. I'm business development for my company. That's what I do and you know do it digitally and virtually and so i looked at what had worked for me in the past and really took it to the next level so what i did and i decided i'm going to create a bit of a system because i was just sporadically doing a lot of outreach so i was on linkedin i was on email i was on facebook i was in facebook groups i was doing all this outreach and i wasn't keeping track of what was really working. And I decided, nope, I'm going to build a system. And that way I can see what's working. I can see my outreach. I can see what is actually producing some results. And I also want to come up with a target every day. How many, how, how much outreach can I do in a day? And so I decided to build this 10 plus 10 system. So 10 outreach on LinkedIn, 10 messages on LinkedIn, 10 outreaches on Facebook, 10 connections on Facebook and, and on and on. And so that's where the 10 plus 10 system comes. And the way that I built it, I easily could reach out to 100 potential clients, prospects, you know, customers a day. And now I have a tracking system and I could also see it working. I could also see what that was bringing me in results. Yeah. And, and again, the other thing that I really like about the book is it, it, I'm, I tend to be a systems kind of person. So I love the fact that you do outline precisely 
how that method works. You know, this is what you need to do. This is, and, and you know, it's not, it's not restricting, you know, you can, you know, you can use whatever CRM or even just a spreadsheet to keep track, but you do list the important things to do within the system and then the methods. And then, you know, the importance and of the profile. I even give, them, and, they even give you homework. <laughs> you do. I, I actually was going to mention that. I love, I love that homework. Again, I'm, I'm all about that. So, you know, to have at each chapter, you've got the checklist. This is, so you're building on each chapter, you know, you, you give the, the main pearls of it and then you give the homework and then, you know, you kind of set us up for the next chapter and what we're going to um, expect to do. Um, let me go through a couple of the pearls and then we go back to it. Cause I do want to, I really want to talk about the, about the branding. Well, let's go do that first. Let's talk about, again, because optometrists might look at this and say, well, I'm not really salespeople. I actually switch into mode of, I do see where they can, because if you're really active in your community, which as you and I both know, <laughs> optometrists should be, I can see getting on LinkedIn because I remember when I own my private practice, I got on LinkedIn, I got more patients, local patients from LinkedIn that I did from all of the other platforms combined. So, you know, hear us when we say that even for your B2C, you are going to attract patients. Um, so um, realize that you can get on, connect with those leaders in your community. It is sort of a sales way of doing it. Use the 10 plus 10 method to start reaching out to the leaders through LinkedIn. It's really easy to do that. And then use the method that you, you've got a few extra ways of, well, you know, once you get on there and start connecting, there are other ways or other little, I don't want to give it all away because I want people to go out <laughs> by the book, but there's these really good little ideas that you have about capturing other people that may be local and how easy it is to actually go on and do find people that are local. LinkedIn makes it a no brainer. You don't have to have sales navigator. You don't have to have the business version, just the free version. It's so easy to go out and find those people. And, you know, I'll, I'll preface with saying this. I own a marketing agency. I'm helping practices every single day with their marketing. Marketing is changing. And, you know, yes, I'm still an advocate of Google marketing and great websites and, and email marketing, all that for practices. But I also see an untapped potential with their social media. There are so few practices that are doing social well. And when I say social, um, you know, there's, a, there's lots of practices that post consistently and post great posts, but they're not building their brand or their personal brand or talking enough about them the people in the practice. And um, if there's anything that I see every single day is the unutilization of LinkedIn. LinkedIn is my go-to. And it's not just because it's the professional Facebook. It's because it has just so much opportunity for networking, which, you know, Facebook is, isn't anymore the same. Instagram is is complete different platform, but LinkedIn is still a great connection networking platform. The other thing it's become is a great business platform. And I will tell you, when I go on LinkedIn, I, I can tell you right now that probably one out of every 20 practices has actually even claimed their LinkedIn business LinkedIn profile. Um, they're not posting half the time the optometrist or the optician doesn't have a profile. If they do have a profile, it's outdated. They're not active. Um, it's a missed opportunity when it comes to almost free marketing, put it that way. Oh, there's no question about it. And because I know so you many... love LinkedIn too. So. Oh, I do. I totally do. And, and so many people don't understand, even like you said, the company pages. So if you can just do one, two, three, or four more things that your competition is not doing, you're way ahead of the game. And that's what your book actually touches on. Let me just throw up another great comment that I love your method for you, Trudy. I bought the book about a month ago and I'm already seeing results. I mean, oh, it you. doesn't get any better than that. That is absolutely. <laughs> so thank you again. I appreciate that for, for the comment. I love 
love that. So well, let me do this too, because I, I want to go ahead and um, let folks know where they can find out more information. We're going to talk some more, but I just, I, I want to throw up this banner that, you know, besides finding you on marketingforecps.com, of course, I think everybody that's going to see this knows who you are, because you are <laughs> a rock star online. But now you can actually find the book, um, and I'm going to bring up the website as well, but the uh, digitalsalesrep.com. I'm going to throw up the book. Real quick. That's what it looks like. It's fantastic. Easy to see. And then let me go ahead and add this. So this is the, um, the website. Let me see if I can be real tricky here and go ahead and scroll and show everybody. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. And again, obviously you can get it through Amazon, but the, the thing that I really want folks to know, and I think you're, you're, you've mentioned somewhere along the way that you're going to keep adding to it, but you have a, a full, um, part of the website that has the resources and in the book, which is really fantastic is you talk about even getting swipe files. So we can actually get some of those emails and the DMS that you recommend in as part of the 10 plus 10 method that we can actually look at what you're doing and just tailor it to our own voice. And, and, you know, so, and then you've it's, got a group, you know, when I'll, I'll tell you a couple of things as you're scrolling through the website. So I worked with a publishing company to get the book published. And, and, you know, I had the name of the book, the digital sales rep in my head. And I already was looking at what I was going to do. I, I went with the colors that are bold and visible, the yellow and the black and the white. Um, when we were coming up with the tagline, um, it was the publishing company that said, because, you know, obviously they coached me through the book. They they knew the content and they said, your book is all about being visible. You're teaching people how to be more visible online. You're teaching people how to stand out, how to be bold. Um, and you're also, you know, teaching people to go forward and not stop. And so they're like, be bold, be visible, be unstoppable. So that was the publishing company. And I've really kind of grabbed onto that tagline because it is about visibility yeah. and it is about, you know, how can, because there's so much competition out there in the eye care industry. There's so much competition as reps. So every business has competition and how can you be, you know, different and differentiate yourself is to be visible. And so many of your competitors aren't doing this. It's such a great opportunity. Right. And that's the thing. It's just so easy to get ahead of your competition because of that. You know, just like you said, you talked about the um, doing the, when, when the pandemic hit and the pivot that you did, you immediately got on it and did ebook, webinar, you know, and, and you told us the, the incredible numbers of downloads and how many people got onto your email list just because you saw a need immediately. So just think of all those things that I care professionals could do in their community that they could totally beat out their competition. They could talk about the benefits of certain new diagnostic tests, uh, you know, certain eyewear, if they have a big golfing community or boating community, the benefits of, of, you know, specialty polarized lenses or polarized lenses or how to make a certain bifocal or progressive so that it's specific for golfing and seeing yeah. the green. So just doing a few little things like that could catapult your personal brand in your community. Well, and you know, Dr. Sandy, I think so many business owners and sales reps think, oh, that sounds like a lot of work. Or when I talk about the 10 plus 10 sales system, they already think it, that sounds like a lot of work. And the one thing I do in the book is I teach, you know, how easy it can be. Um, you don't have to come up with your own content. You probably can find content anywhere to share and still be a resource. Uh, still be visible, still be an expert by sharing other, you know, ready to make content. Um, but also I share snippets of how easy it is to do in 15 minutes a day. Like this is, this is not rocket science. This is easy ways to be an expert and, you know, a resource with very little time. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what I tend to do quite a bit is I curate content. And like you say, and you say it quite often on the different platforms is, 
you know, for the staff of a business or a practice or a company is to go grab whatever the company is putting out for content and just share it and put your own spin on it. And you know, most even, of the platforms appreciate that. And even as a practice, you know, if you're the optician who's doing social media or you're the optometrist, uh, the practice owner, um, you don't always have to come up with your own content. There's so much content out there right now. Um, we're actually in Vision Expo next week and we're doing a bunch of marketing and social media talks. And one is all about finding content that's already created. And, you know, yes, creating content as well, but it's it's so easy right now to be able to find content that is already made from your suppliers to content you can buy. Absolutely. No, absolutely. Let me, and we'll talk about Vision Expo in a second, because that's really exciting too for you. But I want to go ahead and just, I'm going to throw some pearls out. And it's yes. just, it was just some notes I wanted to make sure that I, that I got out there. But um, as we mentioned, the chapter has action checklists for every single chapter. And again, they're bite-sized, they're perfect, they're actionable, easy to do. I love the comment and the story that goes behind. And again, get the book to find out, but solve to sell. And it has to do with being a resource. You know how you you quickly created the eBooks, the webinars, as we mentioned, and in-person trainings. Um, and you say, you know, I didn't grow sales by selling, I grew sales by helping. And again, that's 101, but it is just so easy to get lost into all of these other courses that teach you how you're supposed to sell. And it's, it's, that's why people don't like salespeople necessarily <laughs> because they're tired of being sold to. They want to, to, be, to learn. They want to learn how they can, you know, grow their own businesses. Yeah. Um, and, and like you said, do what your competitors won't. Um, um, so talk. many, you know, I'd love just to give a quick tidbit sure. to that one is, you know, when, um, when I talk in the book about, you know, being a resource and not being a spammy salesperson, which I personally can't stand. And I, it happens to me every day. And I'm sure it's happening to every one of you. Um, if I ask somebody to connect with me, I do not spam them right away. I don't send anything. And when I do send something, which might be a couple weeks later, I send something that's valuable. So I, I'm like, hey, doctor, thanks for connecting with me. Um, by the way, we just created this whole file of social posts to talk about Valentine's Day. And it's all about I love local and I love my optometrist. And here it's free. And I'm all about like giving something that's valuable because I want them to feel like, oh, this was a good connection. Um, you know, she's not just trying to sell me. And then I won't, you know, still prospect them. I'll send them something else a little bit later. Hey, we just did a webinar. It's all about building your 2023 marketing strategy. Here's all the free resources, free marketing calendar. And I give it away to them. And Again, I think they're all surprised that I'm not asking them for a demo. I'm not asking them for a meeting because you know what? Here's what I think is number one, if they're interested in marketing, I'm already proving that I'm a resource and I'm an expert in marketing and I care. And they're going to let me know if they want to meet with me and they do. And so I do the give, 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 ask, mm -hmm. you know, and I give them something three times to make them, you know, feel, you know, good about the connection and good about being, you know, maybe talking to me about marketing. And if they don't, they're still not disconnecting or unsubscribing or removing me because they love the resources. Oh, absolutely. And it still kind of amazes me how much spam I get, even in LinkedIn, just immediately, as soon as I connect with someone, they want to tell me, you know, how they can help me and, and, but in a way that's, that's definitely very, very kind of spammy. Um, a couple of things too that, and I thought I had written it down, but a couple other things in the book, and I'm looking at it right now is you do have a couple of other frameworks, which are really kind of neat is the virtual demos. You, you talk about, um, how you're not just good at them, you're great at them. And the reason you're great at them is you did your research and, you know, you did a lot of the stuff that we can now just, you know, learn from that and not have to go through all the research, but you've got a, you know, 
step by step by step points in how to make your virtual demos great. And again, people might say, well, I own a brick and mortar. I'm an eye care purchase. I'm not going to do any demos. Well, yes, you can do demos. You can, you know, demo in the community, you know, have a webinar about why children who are struggling in school would benefit from vision therapy. So, you know, Again, you and I could go on and on. We could have a whole other conversation <laughs> about those kind of things. What can eye doctors do as far as, you know, having these webinars? And then there's another framework about the follow-up in the book, which I also think is brilliant. You know, that's one of the big things that salespeople or marketers don't do. They don't do the follow-up. They figure, oh, okay, well, I guess if they didn't take me up on the sale, I'm done. <laughs> well, you've got that three by three by three, and then the six month, and then the one year method. So it's, you know, three days, three weeks, three months, and you've got, you know, you've, you've built out a framework for that. So feel free to touch on that, but I don't want to give too much away because <laughs> I want them to get the book. <laughs> she didn't pay book. me for this, I promise <laughs> folks, but I am so excited about her book. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, well, I'll start with um, the virtual demos. So clearly, you know, when I started to build the system, the 10 plus 10 system, and I really started to prospect, um, and this is in 2020, you know, when we were still pretty shut down and it, it hasn't stopped. So if there's anything that I've learned, and it doesn't mean we'll never go to trade shows or we'll never get booths again, but it, it, the digital prospecting, the digital outreach, the virtual demos just worked so well that I'm like, why would I spend all this money going everywhere when I can in one hour meet with somebody in California and the next hour meet with somebody in Toronto? Uh, but then what happened is, as we all have experienced, all of a sudden we needed to get good and proficient at some of the virtual channels. So there's Zoom and there's Google Meets and there's Microsoft Teams and there's, you know, all of these webinars and we had to get good at it. Um, even to the point of the background, oh, I'm pointing the wrong way, the background is understanding how you look on, on a webinar or demo, um, angles and backgrounds and tone and microphones and sound, there's just so many important things when it comes to doing a good demo. Then, you know, getting used to the technology was one thing, but then it was, how can I make that demo with an optometrist also valuable for them? Um, not just a sales demo. I wanted it to be the same. I wanted it to be valuable. And so I really started to build a great you know, demo kind of, a, not system, but, but checklist of how I would start my demo. And I did it by, you know, really understanding the practice. I would start by asking them a ton of questions about their business and they weren't ready for that. They weren't ready for me to, you know, not just start talking about my products. And it got so good of me asking them so many questions that by the time I finished my questioning, they were basically already telling me what they needed in, in my products. And so when I started to tailor the products to what they had just told me, um, they were clearly sold already. And so that was one, is really understanding how to make this type of virtual you know, demo valuable, um, easy, informational and impactful. And I will tell you is I closed a lot of sales because I got really good at having almost a relationship building session versus, you know, just a call. Um, so that was one. Now the follow-up, a little different. I, I'm such a believer in follow-up. I know people don't always purchase the first time you talk to them. Um, and I know that sometimes they're checking out other companies. And so I built a follow-up system so that I was always checking in. And again, it was never pressure. I'm not a pressure salesperson. I'm a helpful salesperson. And so, you know, one of the things that I did is my follow-up also includes resources. So I'd be like, hey, doctor, you know, it's been you know, a month since we chatted, um, just checking in to see if you had any questions. And then I would say, hey, by the way, 
you know, we just did a webinar. I thought you might be interested. Here's the link. So there was like, no, it's called my no pressure sales tactics and I use it in the follow-up. Um, but I also make sure that I'm staying visible and it goes back to building that brand is, you know, don't let that connection just falter, stay connected to them, stay helpful, stay a resource and stay visible. Yeah. And you, and you also talk in the book in, in line with that, that even for some, there was a couple of really good examples that you outlined, even for some that look like the deal's not going to go through, or they said, thank you very much. We're going to go with somebody because of their prices or something. They come back, they end up coming back because you don't close the door. You keep the door open. You do continue to provide if, if they still want to stay on your email list, you're not going to knock them off the list just because they didn't purchase from you. So you're going to continue to be a resource and invariably because your service is so exceptional compared to some of the others that were you know, offering something that they thought was different and was actually subpar, they come back to you, you know, when that contract runs out or, or, you know, as soon as they can switch again, they, they end up coming back. And again, I think that's, I think that's sales 101, but it's, it's just so not done in any industry. You know, yeah. I hear it time and time again for exceptional sales trainers um, like you. You know, it's probably one of my favorite parts of the book. Um, as I talk at the end, it's kind of how I wrap up. And I talk about the fact that in some cases, you're not going to make a sale. You're going to try really hard and you're going to do everything right. And you're not going to make a sale. And I talk about not closing the door because sometimes we take that. And this, you, you know, this is an optometrist who, you know, may, maybe is dealing with an upset patient. This is an optician who works really hard and then doesn't sell the pair of glasses. This is a sales rep who, you know, has talked to somebody multiple times and just isn't getting in the door, um, is don't close the door. Don't get upset. Don't take it personally. Know that, you know, the door is never closed and there's always an opportunity in the future. And then I also talk about, you know, and I talk about, um, you know, leaving them well. And that is one of my sayings to myself all the time is even if I've lost a client, so not just prospecting, but I've had a client and then they've left us, which we don't have very often, um, but they go to maybe a different company or different agency. I never close the door because you never know when somebody wants to come home, when you know, that experience isn't what they thought. The grass isn't greener on the other side. And they maybe want to come back and work with you again. I never close the door. I never burn a bridge. And I always try to leave them well. And that's, I mean, that's fantastic. And, and again, I think it's a lesson for us that, you know, patients ends up end up leaving because, you know, we don't take their insurance any longer used to happen in the private practice time and time again, they'd come back anyway, even if we still didn't take the insurance because they just didn't appreciate the way that they were treated somewhere else. And I think too, to that point is the personal branding that you're so good at that again, we can all learn from by following you on social media, but, but being everywhere, being present all the time, I'm certain that a lot of those other companies that they may have left and then come back from, they're not out there providing free resources. They're not out there trying to figure out what's the most important thing to the eye care practitioner so that you can then go out and help and create more resources for them. So, you know, that's where a lot of that personal branding comes into place. And again, it's the same thing for a local brick and mortar company. Well, you know, I always talk about the future of marketing because that's what we do. And when we look at marketing, it's shifting and changing. What we do on Google changed last month and um, how Facebook and, and Instagram and YouTube have all changed. So how we market practices in the future is also going to shift and change. What is always valuable for practices is to understand and, and sales reps and business people in general is if you start to build your personal brand now, that's never going away. That's marketing that 
is long term, that is going to grow with you. And you're going to just continue to add this value to it, where, you know, the external marketing that we're trying to do for you, that's not always going to work the way it is. But building a brand is like buying real estate. It is. And it, it's all about being in it for the long haul. And so that when you're, you're top of mind, I mean, that does go back to the old days of, you know, pre digital marketing is why a lot of practitioners were getting on television. They were getting a newsprint, they were, you know, showing up in, in billboards and whatnot. So we're just transitioning that to the digital age. So absolutely. And to the um, small business owner, right? Right. Right, exactly. And and again, it is easier. I mean, I think you and I know this, it is easier to market locally. So do bring all of these concepts that you talk about in the book to your local market. And and I think the results happen a lot quicker. And I know that we've talked about in the past, we in one of our other conversations here on LinkedIn live is like you said, Google getting those reviews and and how important that is. And that's all part of that personal branding because it lives it lives forever and right your your linkedin profile the, your connections on on linkedin you know your personal instagram like i i think sometimes people don't realize that their personal profiles are still a part of their business acumen and it's why i don't do a lot of personal posting i do a, i keep my profiles pretty business oriented. And I'm not saying you have to do that. I think if you want a very social profile with your friends and your family is hide it from maybe your patients and have one that's more business oriented. Uh, personally, as a rep, I would say use your business or sorry, use your personal for business and create, you know, that connection with your with your clients and your customers. Absolutely. And I do appreciate you actually talk about that in the book and you give some tips on how to make your profile much better. And, and, and again, I think that's becoming sort of a given. I think if people don't realize how important it is to use your personal profile in your business, of course, you have to be careful with the, with the, you know, terms of service and whatnot to, to not promote your business all the time, but on LinkedIn, that's kind of expected. So that's okay. Um, but it's important to maximize those profiles. And I do appreciate that you actually talk about that. I mean, the way that I equate it is listen, you know, your, your business profile on all of these platforms is like your brick and mortar building. And then your profiles are you the, you know, the doctor or the employee that walks into that building. So, yeah. and I, I think most of the profile, you know, most of the platforms actually set it up to be that way. So, and I, I, you know, every day I, I saw something this morning and every day I see people in the industry and, and, you know, reps or even optometrists and some of the posts um, are controversial and, you know, they're, they're talking about either something that they believe in or political or, and it's tough because you're putting yourself in a box that may not agree with everybody else's boxes. And so I like to keep my, my posts very, you know, Switzerland. <laughs> um, I keep anything that I feel very strongly about to myself, I, at least not publicly. Right. Um, and I do understand some people are very passionate about certain things but I'm like, do watch if, because you could lose a customer over it. You could lose a client over posting something that you're very passionate about if you're connected to them sure. and, they don't, and they have different views. Sure. Absolutely. What did I forget that we haven't talked about that's in the book? I can't think wow. too much. But. <laughs> you covered so much of it. <laughs> I mean, I think the, the only thing I love to leave people with is that this book is for everyone. Uh, you know, again, it's, it's a book about business. It's a book about branding. It's a book about personal digital presence. Um, and there's, there really is something for everyone, but if you are in sales, this book is for you and you absolutely will get a ton out of it. I've had so many people reach out to me in the last 
you know, couple months since I've been out promoting it that love it. Give me such kudos for giving really practical, implementable tips that it's not hard to read, that it's fun. I put some great stories in it and very, you know, easy to implement checklists and homework. So um, take advantage. It's not expensive. You can get it on Amazon. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> and again, the star, the other star of the show here, the book, the book. <laughs> Thank I'm you. In Vegas next yes. Week? Yeah. Yes. So that's what we're going to talk about. So tell us, I mean, that's exciting news too, how involved you are for those of us in the industry. We know that vision expo is huge, 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 and they have an East and a West. And this one coming up in September, um, September is <laughs> we're in September is vision expo West. So tell us your involvement in that as well. Cause that's exciting. We have so much going on at Vision Expo West next week. So first off, um, we partnered with Vision Expo and we are hosting a full day marketing and social media bootcamp on the Wednesday, um, September 14th. It is sold out. Um, six speakers, six classes all day from eight to five and it's sold out already. So sorry, can't get in, but um, I think we're gonna repeat it so in New York. So stay tuned for that. Um, then on Thursday, we uh, are hosting the Vision Expo opening party. We're one of the sponsors, so that's free. Come to that. Um, but I'm doing a keynote speech. So I'm very involved with the Optical Women's Association. I'm a committee chair. I'm also on the board of um, directors for the OWA. Huge advocate, obviously. Um, they've also picked my book as one of the OWA book reads for 2022, and they've given it to all of their members. Um, and they've asked me to do a, a quick keynote presentation at their lunch on the Thursday, followed by facilitating an industry panel. I've got some amazing ladies coming on this panel to talk about the future of the industry. So needless to say, if you're going to Vision Expo West, you're probably going to see Trudy if you're not <laughs> already uh, registered for the, for those other events. But congratulations. That's fantastic. That's really, really exciting. Yeah, um, it's very you know. exciting. Thank you <laughs> again. Um, and for those watching, you know, grab a copy of the book, the digital sales rep.com. Um, I think the link takes you right over to Amazon as well. So if you're on Amazon, go look for it over on Amazon. And, and um, I recently recorded and uploaded the audio version. It, so it fantastic. just, just a few weeks ago. Yeah. That's fantastic. Love it. Love it. We got to do that. You know, when we're working out, we can listen to the audio. This, <laughs> is, this is great, but you're going to still want to take notes because the frameworks that you have are are really amazing. I mean, I've read books that are much, have so much more information, but don't have more information. You know, there's a lot of fluff. And like we've been saying, you get right to the point. So no fluff, <laughs> no fluff. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you again so much for your time, Trudy, so much for, again, contributing this tremendous amount to our, um, to our industry. You're just, you are, you're always there. Go look for you. You're on LinkedIn, easy to find there, easy to find on Instagram. And I know, go ahead and tell us too, you've got um, different accounts on some of the platforms because now you are, of course, promoting the book. So um, I'm guessing the digital sales rep is where we're going to find you in the other places too. Yeah, there's so many places to find me, but um, number one, marketingforacps.com. Um, you can connect with me there. You can find the digital sales I know Sandy has it at the bottom of the screen. I'm also on every platform under Trudy Sheree, or I now have a few under the digital sales rep as well. So I've got two channels on Instagram. Um, so there's so many ways to find me. If you just type in my name <laughs> in the internet, you'll find me. <laughs> You know, and a lot of times what I say when I when I talk about marketing and I talk about marketing gurus like you, experts, gurus, you know, the the people to to go find is also watch what you're doing. You know, you're you're the expert in the eye care marketing field and follow, not only go follow you, but see what you're doing, see what you're posting and learn from that. Learn from all the things that you've done, you know, putting out the books and and all the in-person, the webinars, et cetera, et cetera. And I also even share like I say, share some of that content if you want. Um, everything I post is posted as a resource and I love it when people grab it and share it as well. So they're taking well, my advice then. Yeah. And you're also really generous. I don't know. I hope 
you know, I hope our industry realizes that you've also created social media content, you know, the graphics. We, you and I both absolutely love <laughs> Canva. Yeah. And you've created these that you're saying, go out there and go ahead and, and download them. And I think, I know I've seen on your link tree over on Instagram that you've got a whole bunch of free resources. And yeah. I'm guessing that's probably there. So again, just follow everything you're doing. You've got a content calendar, you know, to all the because I, I know I've done that too, where certain <laughs> months of the year are, are very specific to the eye care industry. We're always creating resources. So if you go to marketingfreecbs.com, we actually launched a new website this week. So not sure if you've seen it. Awesome. But, no. um, it looks beautiful, but it also just has all of our webinars, all of our free resources. We've got a ton of stuff coming up this fall. Um, so it's just a good place to stay in touch with us or sign up for our blogs and our newsletters and emails and, you know, just continue to, to see what we're uploading and where we're at and what we're doing. Well, of course, now I have to see it. Oh, see yeah. it. Isn't that <laughs> That's <awesome? laughs> beautiful. I love it. Actually, let me, uh, let me get it's, rid of the banner to get the full effect, but let me go ahead and yeah, it's beautiful. Designer, I love the colors. So we have one of our senior designers, Payman, um, he's just so good. And he, like, I mean, he creates mostly optometrist websites, but he created our, our company website and we just love it. He went really out of the box and it's just so different and so fresh and so modern and we needed it. You know, sometimes, you know, as a marketing agency, we're the last ones to do our own marketing because we're oh, of so course. busy. Yeah. Of course. The cobbler's shoes, that that whole thing. But I do, they're much more bold. I like it was a little bit more, I think it was a little more pastel from what I remember, but yeah. I just love this. It's it's uh bold and I like the how you have, you know, some of the icons and yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, this is great. And of course, you know, you, you do have to go and do this because you because you we practice what you talk, preach, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> and listen, pay attention to this, everyone. Free website audit. That's huge. That's a that's a that's a really big deal. So I appreciate that you do that um, yeah. for others. So uh, and also a demo. So I think we covered a lot. This is we awesome. <laughs> we always do. You know, do. you and I could get on here and we could just talk for hours. <laughs> we can, we can. And I, I got to bright me up because I see I'm disappearing here um, well, into the know, background because it's the, got very dark here in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that I do, I know, you know, you don't get the kudos back and I want to give some to you is you are also such a resource and you're, you give a lot to this industry. I don't think people realize how much. And again, you are one to follow. You're always doing something new and something exciting. So thank you. Um, I appreciate I'm that. excited because you are working on something new right now. Yes, I am. And we'll definitely have to <laughs> brag about that one of these days. But <laughs> it's all about you today, Miss Trudy. I'm, you. Uh, you know, ha safe travels to Vision Expo West. Please um, tell all of our mutual friends that I say <laughs> Hello, if you think about it, I but <laughs> I really, I'm, I'm sad this year. I have total FOMO and I'm, I'm so excited because you've got so much going on over there at Vision Expo West. So thank you again. Congratulations for everything. Congratulations for the success of the book. One last time, everybody go out and get it. You're going to be absolutely blown away how this little gem is just packed with actionable things that you can do to grow your practice. So it's very exciting. <laughs> it is. Thank you. And um, I'm going to close out here and uh, thanks again. Appreciate See you, everyone. Bye. Bye. All right, everybody. Thank you so, so much for joining us. And I, if you didn't figure it out, I'm Dr. Sandy Evelith, your eye care marketing strategist. And as a certified master marketer and certified digital business consultant, I love helping eye care professionals attract more specialty patients to maximize their wealth, time, and practice growth. If you'd like to book an innovative strategic marketing session with me, go to drsandyevelith.com forward slash book Dr. Sandy. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you all next time and uh, take care.